Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the algebraic principle of substitution. Okay, when you're thinking about substituting, um, a lot of times it's a teacher that comes in in the place of your original teacher, the substitute coming in. That's exactly what we're going to be doing here in algebra. We are going to substitute the variable, one of those letters A through Z in our math problems, the variable with a number. So a number is going to come in and take its place. So I've given a couple different options. Both of these are written in inequalities, which means you can have even an infinite number of solutions. Okay, so what we are trying to do is to make this inequality true. 10e, 10 times some number, because we don't know what it is, what the answer could be, it's a variable, 10 times some number is greater than 45. Remember that this is multiplied, if that's the coefficient and the variable together, that is multiplication. Okay, so if I pick a number and I say 2, 10 times 2, is that greater than 45? 10 times 2 is just 20. That does not make that true. 20 is not greater than 45. So 2 cannot be a solution for that. But if we say 5, let's go 10 times 5 is greater than 45. Sweet. 10 times 5 is 50. We do know 50 is greater than 45. So I'm done, right? Not in an inequality. Okay, That's just the beginning. 10 times 6, 60. 10 times 7, 70. 10 times 100. 1,000, okay? There are an infinite number of possibilities. So just to show you this concept, right here we know, um, let's just say this is two, that doesn't work. Three, four, and five, and six. Okay, four won't work, because 10 times four is 40, which is still less than 45. But we know five works, and every single number that is greater than five is going to work. Yeah, that's on the whole number spectrum. Um, but just looking at that, any number greater than five will work for this. So I could choose any of those numbers. I could choose eight. I could choose 42 and a half. I could choose 1,326. Whatever it is that you want, that will make this inequality true. Okay, sometimes your teachers might give you some options here. So to substitute G for one of these, or more, I don't know which ones will work. But so we substitute, we take this number here, and we put it right in for that, okay? We know the coefficient is multiplication, so thinking four times five, is that less than or equal to 12? Four times five is 20, that's not less than or equal to 12. Let's try four times four, is that less than or equal to 12? That's 16, that's not gonna work. Three to, or four times three, is that less than or equal to 12? Four times three is 12, so that makes it true. Okay, C is a possible answer, we'll just continue four times two, less than or equal to 12, that also makes it true. So C and D are possible solutions. Now remember, this was a less than or equal to. So four times three equals 12, that works. If it were just 4G is less than 12, would 3 work? No, it wouldn't because 12 is not less than 12. But because that inequality was less than or equal to, that will work. So if you have four options, you just substitute those numbers in for the variable, and those two work. So those that question has two possible answers. Now what if we went, again, with just a little two-step one? Let's say 12 minus 3w is greater than or equal to 6. Okay, another greater than or equal that will come into play. Okay, so I might have my options of just 1, 2, 3, or 4. So 12 minus 3 times 1. 12 minus 3 times 1. Oh, order of operations. I do the multiplication first. 12 minus 3 equals 9. Is that greater than or equal to 6? Yes. So 1 makes that inequality true. 12 minus 3 times 2. Do the multiplication first. 12 minus 6 equals 6. Is that greater than or equal to 6? 
6 equals 6. Okay, so 1 and 2 are possible solutions for that. Now, if I go any further, 12 minus 3 times 3, that's 12 minus 9. 3 is not greater than or equal to 6. So really on this one with whole numbers, all we have possible solutions are 1 and 2 for those answers. Okay, that is a quick review of substitution.